Back in March of this year, ANZ asked New Zealanders how they wanted to welcome the world to Rugby World Cup 2011. I reckon I'd shout them all the feet of fish and chips. And they were overwhelmed by the response, with over 6,000 different ideas submitted in just over six weeks. The five most popular ideas were put to public vote, and ANZ let the nation decide what sort of welcome they'd make happen. Over 22,000 Kiwis cast their vote, and the winner was Pulisia Sumanu, a kindergarten manager from South Auckland, with his idea of a human animation. My idea to welcome the world is to create a huge animated welcome message at the length of the rugby field, involving thousands of people. Sweetie? Yeah. We won the competition. Really? So who's going to be in the final? It doesn't matter, I'll be here. <laughs> After finding out that he had won, Pulisia met with ANZ's event team to discuss how he saw his idea to welcome the world for Rugby World Cup 2011 come to life. If we look at 30 seconds, it's got to move really quick. That one up there, just imagine it was a rugby field to welcome the world one, so having an animation that would start from here. The great thing about Pulisia is he's got a really clearly defined sense of what he wants to achieve with his idea, but he's not unrealistic. Now we had the idea, we just had to make it happen in eight weeks. It was to be an undertaking of gigantic proportions, involving 90 workers, hundreds of kids, over 3,000 man hours and one helicopter. Choreographers and 600 school kids went through hours of rehearsals in preparation for the welcome message. The country was kept informed with blog posts and Facebook updates, and the campaign started to build its own force, gaining over 5,000 likes on its Facebook page and thousands of hits on the ANZ website. To truly welcome the world, we needed to showcase the human animation to the country, which meant filming the event for broadcast. As D-Day approached, the pressure mounted, but everyone involved was committed to making Policia's dream a reality. The event day started at 5 a.m. and required six buses to move the 600 pupils from Onehunga High and St. Kennegan's College to Mount Smart Stadium. But we think it was worth the effort. And so did Policia. ANZ asked the nation, how would you welcome the world to Rugby World Cup 2011? Hey guys, good luck! My idea won, and now ANZ has brought it to life. So welcome everybody. 